Today's educational game that I play is a fun chemistry game, game about the daily chemical compounds. Or these are substances that or compounds that we use in the everyday life. Now we will see what element compose them. This is some this is a sort of quiz where I have to place the elements in the compound and if I make it incorrectly it will um, draw one chemical supply. Okay, so the first, let me see the hints. Now we see the number of the electrons in the element. This is the number of the element, also its atomic number. The squares of the rectangles are the chemical elements here. The number near the element is how many atoms have the, mo the molecule of this element and the whole thing is the molecule of the substance. <laughs> so, uh, this is the water that we drink every day and the water is composed of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom which make the molecule of the water. So, chemical element, number of atoms and the whole is the molecule. Now the next one doesn't have a lot of hints. So, this is the molecule of the table salt. It has one atom of sodium and one atom of chlorine. These two are making the molecule of the table salt. The next daily chemical compound is the sugar. Now, the sugar has 12 atoms of carbon, the molecule of the sugar, 22 atoms of hydrogen, and 11 atoms of oxygen. Those three are making the molecule of the sugar. The next daily chemical compound is the baking soda. Now, the baking soda consists of one atom of sodium, one atom of hydrogen, one atom of carbon, and three atoms of oxygen. These are making the molecule of the baking soda. Right? <laughs> the next element, uh, no, no element, uh, the next compound is the bleach, which has uh, a very, a very alkal uh, pH. Hydrogen uh, what was that? Well, we'll see it in another movie. But the molecule of the bleach consists of one atom of sodium, one atom of chlorine, and one atom of oxygen. This is the molecule of the bleach. The next daily chemical compound is the acetone. Acetone. It is the molecule of the acetone, consists of three atoms of carbon, six atoms of hydrogen, and one atom of oxygen. So the next daily chemical compound we use in cooking, or at least the grown ups use in cooking, is the methane. This is a combustion gas which molecule has one atom of carbon 
and four atom of hydrogen. This is the molecule of the methane. Methane. The next daily chemical compound is the carbon dioxide. Well, it is not that uh, <laughs> separate, but the carbon dioxide is in the beverage we are drinking, like this one that I like a lot, and I cannot say its name because it will be some sort of ad or something. Ah, but it's cool. So, as, uh, as it states, it is one atom of carbon and one and two atoms of oxygen, the carbon dioxide. <coughs> the next compound is the steel. The steel consists of three atoms of iron and one atom of carbon. And I think that the different types of steel has different quanti qu quantity of carbon atoms, but I'm not quite sure. Have to check that. For now, I will just look at the molecule. The next daily chemical compound is the ammonium nitrate. nitrate. This is a kind of fertil fertilizer, and because it is a fertilizer, it should has nitrogen. And it has two atoms of nitrogen, which is important for plants, one at four atoms of hydrogen, nitrogen, hydrogen, and three atoms of oxygen. These are making the molecule of the ammonium nitrate. The next chemical compound, and last for this quiz, is the molecule of the alcohol. And it is two atoms of carbon, five atoms of hydrogen, and connected one atom of oxygen with another atom of hydrogen. So these two appear as a connection near the carbon and the hydrogen. And with that I have sorted the chemical ingredients of those daily chemical compounds. This is the educational dosage for today and until new meetings.